did the Titanic, built in 1,200 days, finally sink in two hours? The world's safest and unsinkable ship was said to have sunk on April 14, 1912, after colliding with an iceberg after a four-day journey. The first pictures of this sunken ship were revealed on 4 September 1985, 73 years after its sinking. It's been more than a century since the Royal Mail ship RMS Titanic sank, but people still can't forget it. A film also came on this in 1997, whose scenes are still fresh in people's minds. Now, you must be wondering why we are talking about the Titanic today. The reason behind this is that the pictures of the Titanic accident were revealed on this day itself. These pictures were seen by the world 73 years after the ship sinking. We all know that the world's largest steam-based passenger ship Titanic on its maiden voyage from Southampton, England. April 10, 1912 was the day the world's largest and most expensive deaf yacht Titanic was all set to sound on its maiden voyage. The Atlantic Ocean was very peaceful that day and there was no remote chance of a storm coming. 1,500 passengers had already boarded the ship and lakhs of people stood on the dock to see the beginning of its first journey. Neither the passengers nor the millions of people saying goodbye nor the crew of the Titanic knew that six such mistakes had been made while making the ship which was about to leave shortly which would make this ship a victim of the worst accident. Six such mistakes, if they were not done, maybe today Titanic would have become famous in the world, not because of the crash, but because of its success. After all, what were the six mistakes that even Captain Edward Smith of the Titanic, who had 40 years of experience, could not see? Given the size and beauty of the Titanic, it was even given the title of Floating City at that time. People used to be surprised to see the length of the ship. It was the largest ship of that time. The film made on this is still included in the world's highest grossing films. During that time, sea voyages were increasing a lot. Keeping those in mind, the Titanic ship was built. When the ship was built, the golden age of sea travel was underway. It was specifically designed to compete with other cruise liners. At that time of the 20th century, the number of immigrants and wealthy travelers were increasing. His job was to do business from Europe to New York. Leaving the captain's 40 years of experience, these mistakes were made by Titanic operating company White Star Line, who had the experience of operating 107 ships. He didn't even see it. Moreover, these mistakes were not even seen by the Titanic manufacturing company Cal and Wolf, who had manufactured more than 500 ships just before the Titanic. The construction of the Titanic started in 1907, and after about three years of time and the hard work of 2,000 workers, the ship was completed. Now, the ship was completely ready, but the phase to test it was yet to come. The confidence of the builders of the Titanic increased when Titanic successfully passed her first test run. As soon as it passed the test, it was marketed in miscellaneous newspapers all over the world, whose heading was, No One Can Sink Titanic. The ship's maiden voyage was to start from the English city of Southampton, whose day was fixed for 10 April 1912 and whose destination was the American city of New York. The cost of traveling in the economy portion of the Titanic was $30 when it was $150 to travel in first class, which in today's era becomes 340,000 rupees. As a result of this marketing, all the tickets were booked at once and finally, the day came when Titanic was about to start her maiden voyage. The reason for the worldwide discussion of the ship was not because its size was quite large. Rather, it was because keeping in mind the royal style, all kinds of facilities were given in it. Mistake number one. At exactly 12 o'clock in the afternoon, the Titanic started her maiden voyage and at the same time, the Titanic's mistakes began to emerge. Captain Smith had received the deadline from the owner. In any case, it has to reach New York by 17th of April, in other words, in just seven days. 
For this reason, the captain had kept the speed of the new ship very fast from the beginning, and it was the very first mistake of the Titanic. Due to the instructions and pressure given to Captain Smith, he had to reach New York as soon as possible because this was the first voyage of Titanic, and if he did not reach New York time, Titanic's reputation would have suffered a lot. Then, from where they have many operating procedures, in which speed limit is also a part of these procedures, and that was part violet in the beginning of Titanic's journey. In a short while, the ship left the port of Southampton, so far behind that nothing could be seen except the blue ocean in the distance. Mistake number two. You had passed three days running Titanic. Except for brief stops in France and the Isles, for the last 72 hours, it was continuously moving towards New York. It was the evening of 14, April 1912. There was silence and mist everywhere on the sea, due to which the visibility had also reduced considerably. That same night, another deaf ship was only a few hours ahead of the Titanic. The captain had given information about the iceberg floating on the sea to Titanic on the new wireless. Experts believe that this warning was given at least six times. But, due to the negligence of wireless operators, very important warnings may have been missed by them. It was probably normal for them, but this was the second mistake of the Titanic. Because Titanic was the first luxury ship of its line, and many VIPs were also present in it. For this reason, most of Titanic's attack was famous for serving first-class passengers. If these warnings were taken seriously, then the entire scene ahead would have been different. The speed of the mistake number three ship was also high, and a very important warning had also been missed by him. Titanic was now moving rapidly into the range of icebergs in the most fearless manner. But still, the Titanic could have been saved from the accident, because the ship's watchmen were alert, who were ready to give any iceberg information to the captain only after seeing it from so far away. But they did not have one thing to see from a distance, and that thing was telescope. Yes, the watchmen were alert, but they could not see the devotee from a distance, because of not having a telescope. And this was the third mistake of the Titanic. Captain Smith got the news at the time when the ship's watchmen were informed. This is an iceberg the size of a football field right in front of the ship, but it was too late because the iceberg had come very close. Mistake number four. Because ships often encounter such icebergs in the Atlantic Ocean, to whom big, big ship handles comfortably. Perhaps Captain Smith thought so too. Upon receiving the news of the iceberg, the captain ordered the ship's engines to be shut down and also ordered the Titanic to change course. Of course, Captain Smith tried his best to avoid the iceberg, but the gap was too small to do anything. The iceberg had now hit Titanic's center, but there was still considerable hope for Titanic to survive. This hope was left that the iceberg may not harm the ship's body, or the iceberg may break itself as soon as it collides with the ship. And perhaps, it would have happened if Titanic's fourth mistake had not shown its work. Experts believe that what was found on the body of the Titanic was made of cast iron, not key. Their job is to keep larger pieces of iron together. But because cast iron is softer than steel, for this reason, the place where the iceberg collided with was the body of the Titanic. The rewards that were opened up due to the pressure and then what Captain Smith had feared happened. Mistake number five. The Titanic had collided with an iceberg the size of a football field and water had begun to fill the bottom of the ship. This dangerous sadhu had alerted the entire attack and passengers as well as Joseph Bruce, the owner of the Titanic, who was present in the ship. Of course, the water started filling in the Titanic. But there was still hope of Titanic survival because Titanic was designed in such a way that even if its three floors were filled with water, it still could not sink. But it was unfortunate that after crossing the three floors of this ship, the water had now reached the third floor. Now, the matter was out of hand. Slowly, he was drowning the ocean. Now the time had come to save the lives of the passengers present in it without worrying about the ship. 
Captain Smith issued an emergency alert on the radio. The plan was to shift the passengers to lifeboats until help arrived. But on this occasion, the fifth blunder worked. Yes, the ship had space for a total of 32 lifeboats. But due to negligence, only 20 boats were kept. Passengers were 1,500 and boards were only 20. Mistake number six. There was commotion everywhere and everyone wanted to ride in those few well-chosen boats. At 12.45, the first emergency lifeboat was lowered into the sea. But here, another sixth mistake happened. In the midst of chaos, the boats were put into the sea without being fully loaded, in which most of the first-class passengers were given preference. That is, the people who were richer were made to sit first. If more passengers were made to sit in winter, then human lives would have been less. Now the ship was rapidly sinking in the sea. At 2.18, due to a short circuit, all the lights of the Titanic were extinguished. And in the next moment, the ship broke into two parts. It took 2.40 for the U Titanic to sink completely inside the sea. And thus, 1,500 people died by drowning in the cold waters of the Atlantic Ocean. Let us also tell you one more thing that the temperature of the water at that time was negative 2 degrees centigrade. Means, even if the passengers jump in this cold water, there was no chance of survival because a human being cannot survive for more than 30 minutes in such a low temperature. It is said that the death toll was more than 1,500 because many of the people who were known to the crew of the ship boarded the ship without tickets. On the other side was Captain Smith, who had been saving lives all this time and was the last man to jump off a sinking ship. Hope you will like and share this video too. Thank you so much for your lovely comments. See you in the next great video.